Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. Did you know that some of the most undervalued stocks today have outperformed the market for over a decade? Imagine investing in companies that not only give you great returns but are also undervalued right now. In this video, we're diving into 5 hidden gems that could boost your portfolio. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, understanding these opportunities can help you make smarter financial decisions. Let's explore these ultra cheap stocks with the best return on investment. Every investor wants the best returns, right? So we screen for stocks that have consistently outperformed the Morningstar US market index over the last 10 years. We look for companies with a 3-year average return on invested capital ROIC of over 20%, indicating they're using capital efficiently. We also focused on companies with strong economic mode ratings from Morningstar, showing that they have a competitive edge. Lastly, we sought stocks trading at least 20% below Morningstar's fair value estimates, meaning they're undervalued and offer immense growth potential. Well, first up, we have Trinet Group, trading at 28% below its fair value estimate of $145. Trinet is a leader in staffing and employment services industry. They have a narrow economic mode with high customer switching cost, making them competitive for the next decade. Trinet offers comprehensive HR solutions to small and mid-sized businesses, helping them manage their human resources efficiently. Let's take a closer look at why Trinet is a good investment. Imagine being a small business owner overwhelmed with HR compliance complexities. Trinet could be your game changer, simplifying everything for you. The strategic acquisitions like Zenifits and Chloris RD expand the market reach and reduce client iteration. Although this diversification may weigh on short-term profitability, it positions Trinet for long-term growth. What do you think about Trinet's approach to HR solutions? Have you used any of their services? Let us know in the comment section below. Well friends, next up on our list is Autodesk, trading at 23% below its fair value estimates. Autodesk is a global leader in computer-aided design software, essential for architecture, engineering, and construction. Their wide economic mode comes from high switching costs and a robust network effect. Once professionals use Autodesk software, switching becomes difficult and costly. I remember when Autodesk first introduced Revit, revolutionizing architectural design. They transitioned to a recurring revenue model, now making up over 95% of their income ensuring stable and predictable revenue. Autodesk stays ahead by continuously innovating like with their Revit 3D modeling software which has replaced many AutoCAD users. They also build strong relationships with educational institutions ensuring future professionals are trained on their software. Here's a chart showing Autodesk's revenue growth over the past decade. Their transition to a recurring revenue model has clearly paid off. Now, let's talk about Paycom Software, trading 45% below its fair value estimate of $260. Paycom offers an all-in-one payroll and human capital management solution with a narrow economic mode. Their platform appeals to mid-size and enterprise clients who prefer a unified solution. Imagine a company where payroll, attendance, and benefits are all managed separately. It's a headache. Paycom simplifies this with a unified platform, making everything seamless. Their strategy focuses on greater automation and employee self-service, supported by complementary analytical tools. Their Betty self-service payroll module is a prime example of innovation to meet client needs. Looking ahead, Paycom is expected to grow by moving up market and upselling existing clients with new modules. Do you think payroll's approach to a unified platform makes sense? If so, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's discuss Adobe, trading at 24% below its fair value estimate of $610. Known for its dominance in the content creation software, Adobe has a wide economic moat. Their products like Photoshop and Illustrator are go-to tools for creative professionals. Adobe has expanded through new products and acquisitions, creating a comprehensive portfolio for print, digital and video content creation. The introduction of Adobe Express and Firefly, an AI solution, show the commitment to broadening their user base and ensuring long-term growth. Imagine being a graphic designer who relies on Adobe Suite. 
new tools like Firefly enhance your work and keep you loyal to Adobe's ecosystem. Adobe's digital segment built on the acquisition of Omniture adds another growth leg. Strategic acquisitions like Magento and Marquito focus on emerging areas and cross-selling opportunities. The document cloud driven by Acrobat and the ubiquitous PDF format is another significant revenue stream. Here's a visual of Adobe's portfolio showcasing their diverse products supporting digital creation and business processes. What's your favorite Adobe product? Let us know in the comment section below. Finally, let's look at market access, trading 35% below its fair value estimate of $300. Market access operates the leading platform for electronic trading of corporate bonds with a wide economic moat. They benefit from the shift towards electronic trading, offering cost and liquidity advantages attractive to expense conscious firms. Despite challenges like low corporate bond issuance levels and competition from other platforms, market access's innovation features and market expansion positions them for future growth. They also have a significant cash pile, giving them the flexibility to invest invest in the business or make strategic acquisitions. Imagine a financial firm looking to reduce trading costs. Market Access Platform provides a more efficient and cost-effective solution compared to traditional methods. Do you think electronic trading is the future? If so, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. These five stocks not only have a history of strong returns but are also currently undervalued, presenting a great opportunity for investors. They have a solid business model, strong competitive advantages and are well positioned for future growth. Always remember to do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more insights into the best investment opportunities. Which of these stocks do you think has the most potential to grow in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Until then. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.